two of my interview with Deborah and Cherie. This bat that I have. It's awesome. Hope you enjoy. This is a very beautiful indigenous story. How do you girls think it's going to go across in America? That's a really good question. Yeah. Um, look, I, I imagine they all sort of recognise things within the story yeah. that isn't so different or unusual. Yeah. Um, but also to actually see another Indigenous culture, mm. you know, and... and because so many, yeah, so many, and I think for me that's the exciting part. Yeah, going to North America as well, to Toronto, where there is, you know, the First Nation people there, watching this story, as so both having, being able to carry it. Obviously, it, it speaks well to, mm. you know, people of all different colours across the world, which is... Well, it definitely spoke yeah. to me, mm. you know, you know, but I've got my hand up. You know, I'm a little <laughs> but bit biased, <laughs> maybe a little bit biased, you know. You know but, but it's a it beautiful is, story. The, well, there's a really lovely connection that I think a lot of us grew up with in regards to the music, you know. Yeah. I grew up with Michael that Jackson, I grew up with music. Stevie Wonder, I grew up with Prince, yeah. you know. And, um, you grew up with Prince? I grew How up with him. <laughs> you know, he hasn't grown much taller. Yeah, yeah but he was, he's, he's universal, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there, and there were huge influences on yeah. a lot of our lives as kids, you know, that sort of music. So, you know, it's, I guess, to have that within this film yeah. and to show that, that, you know, yeah. it's a big part of a lot of, a lot of, a lot of our mob, you know. And I think, you know, for me, one of the most powerful parts is when Martin Luther King is assassinated and mm. the idea of, uh, you know, at the time filming that scene, going into the, the psychology of what it feels like to be people in a country that is your own and needing leaders, you know, and, and the idea that, mm. you know, African-American people had that in him and he became that for the world and to lose that no. is just... It's the last round. That, that cuts me because I just go, where, you know, where would we be today had he still been alive? Yeah. Mm. Quite powerful. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, now I just see I'm new at this interview thing, so I would really like you girls to ask me a couple questions. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. We got one minute. Can you really cook? <laughs> can I really cook? Yeah. Indeed. Oh. I can cook. Okay. Yeah. Especially when it comes to anything fried. Next I'm question. Black, baby. When are we coming over for dinner? <laughs> when are you coming over for dinner? Um, you know what? We, 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 can, um, we, can, we can plan that, you know what I'm saying? We can schedule that. We can have a sapphire dinner. You know, yeah. you guys yeah. gotta let Soul me know. Food. Yeah. If you, you know, food. you want some black and catfish? Yeah. Black and, that, you know what? Black and catfish would be. It'd be kind of hard. Maybe, but you know, I could do some maybe black and burr Monday or something. That's right. Just yeah. Yeah. Centennial yeah. Park in the lake. Like, <laughs> dude, that's illegal. <laughs> well, thank you, girls. Thank more, you. So I've got much. one more question for you. Theme theme song to your life. Theme song. Yeah, so if you walked out in front of the door and there's a tune that you could just step to and march to every day for the rest of your life, what is that? Oh man, um, I don't know. I no. haven't. I haven't heard it yet. That's all right. Ooh. That's good I haven't enough. heard it yet. That's good enough. That's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, thank, thank you very thank much, you. ladies. Yeah. And I'll see you later. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah.